these shocking things happened while Buari visited Imo. The reason will shock you. On Thursday, residents of Anambra State followed the indigenous people of Biafra Ipo seats at home command to protest President Mohamed Buhari's visit to Imo. The command was issued to show the discontent of the people of the South East Zone over Buhari's visit, according to IPOP spokesperson Emma Powerful. Even though the group's leader, Mr. Nam Ekanu, was still detained, government offices, schools, banks, motor parks, markets, and other public venues in Oka, on Nature and Newe, as well as all other cities in the state, were abandoned on Thursday. The level of compliance with the order was significantly higher than the scene in the very Monday seat at home, which was later halted but is still obeyed by Southeast residents, according to a Daily Post correspondent who traveled around the capital city of Anambra, Oka. Only newspaper vendors were visible at Oka's famed Aroma Junction, as all of the places housing various offices were under lock and key. Traders and buyers alike were not visible in the AK Oka market, which is the largest market in the capital city. Mr. Innocent Ibe, a trader in AK Oka, told Daily Post that the compliance was motivated by terror than obedience to IPOP's directives. If you watch, Nigerian security has deteriorated, and if you hear that people have been asked to stay at home but refuse to do so. You can be sure that whatever happens to you will be blamed on you. Most of the time, hoodlums use situations like this to loot others. Last two, mo two Mondays, a lawyer from Igboku was ambushed and robbed of his Lexus Jeep white while on his way to Enugu extremely early. The automobile was subsequently found, but it turned out that the thieves were not IPOP members. Who took advantage of the every Monday seat at home to attack the lawyer? Some may blame him for venturing out, but the truth is that robbers took advantage of a chance to loot him. Nobody wants to be a victim of them, so everyone is being cautioned. And cautious, the statement reads. See, this is what IPOP has been trying to uh, make the people to know and understand. That look, yes, they issued the seat at home order, but then that the people are still complying to the seat at home order every Monday has nothing to do with them. That's one. Two, that that. People would decide to disobey and went out to their daily business are being robbed is has nothing to do with them. You see that? So if you are attacked in the process of disobeying the seat at home order, that has nothing to do with IPOP. IPOP at first is not a violent group. It's not a robbery group. It's not a group that succumb to uh, to robbery. Do you understand? They don't. They don't. It's not. It's not of their business. You can never see them do something of such. You understand? So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But that is just the reality. That is just the humble truth, and you need to know that. You need to know that. So this is actually a clear vision for whosoever that want to know that IPOP has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with the, uh, the, the, the unnecessary attack that people receive anytime they set out during the, 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 the sit at home um, order issued on, on, on that set date. You understand? If I were you, see, to be frankly speaking, for safety, that very day, I will just save myself and, you know, stay at home. 
Do you understand? That's just a, it's just that these public organizations are just you know putting the life of their stars on the line. Okay, look at this very man that 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 that, that was robbed. You can see now. See look at the man that was robbed. Probably the man is one of the government stars, and fortunately, they, they pounced on him and you know collected all of his belongings, including his car. So who is to be blamed here? I know, I know they were pointing fingers at IPOP, but IPOP actually doesn't have anything to do with that. You understand? It actually, doesn't have anything to do with that. But a lot of persons are still this, uh, uh, I think, mis misunderstood in it. Okay, when they saw the car and caught the robbers, those robbers are the IPOP members? Are they? At least some of these robbers that have been caught that are not IPOP members supposed to give our government some insight that, look, IPOP knows nothing about some of this robbery. But they will keep pointing accusing fingers at IPOP. You see that? So this is, these are the things that we are actually lamenting of and saying that Buhari have not been doing it right. Well, no wonder Buhari said he was deceived. <laughs> Yes, it's laughable, my dear viewers. He said, he, he said, he said it that Uzo Dima deceived me. Hmm? He deceived me. Why visiting Imo for inauguration of projects? Which projects? Belated project. Project that doesn't meet up with the standard. You are calling Rocha Okrocha a criminal, but you are the most criminal. You're the most criminal. So what are we to say about you? about you now? You went on demolition projects done by Rochas, whereas you are even the one doing the, the most baddest work. Another administration will come and demolish your own, your own work too. That's, see, you see these politicians, that's how they do. They use this um, project of a thing to, as a cover-up, as a cover-up. But whereas they are gradually, you know, siphoning the money of the of the of the of the government, they are indirectly siphoning the government money. That's what they do. You see that? So my my listeners and my friends in the house, based on this very issue, I invite you to come in at least. Let's hear you. Let's understand you. Let's know your plight. Let's know where you are coming from. Let's know your opinions. Okay, so whatever it is, don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.